Yo, what is everyone? And welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool paper rip or paper overlay effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, don't worry, all of these effects are completely free. They don't cost any money. And I'll go ahead and put the two download links in the description below. But as you can see over here, that is what the final edit looks like. And this is just kind of like a basic concept of the idea. And of course, you can take it and kind of do your own um, ideas with this effect. Again, the download links are going to be in the description below. So head over to the example right here, and you want to first work on trying to create the paper outline. As you can see right here, I just basically scaled it down to 90%. You can scale it down to whatever um, low you want. I would probably find some in, the, uh, some in the middle, but of course, it's all up to you. Let's go ahead and grab the paper effect right here. And the paper effect that I'm using right here um, is the paper. I'll go ahead and make it. Um, go over here it's the paper rip 3.1 transparent that's the one that I uh, went for right here so let's go ahead and use the blade tool right here chop it off right here and then what I just did was I went over to the scale and I scaled it to about 250 percent right here so let's go ahead and just find a look that we want right there so let's just say for example um, that looks pretty good right there actually well, I'll also do this I'll actually head over here and then I'll put the link in the description below I'll put this paper outline in the uh, paper background right behind just so we can kind of see um, what we're doing right here so there we go just so you can make sure you have the paper back a uh, paper background because it's definitely quite difficult to kind of see the background if it's just black right there so that looks pretty good right there we'll go ahead and just name this one um left right here we'll go ahead and just create another copy right here and uh, you guess it we'll just call this um right over here and then i'll just take the x-axis uh, and then I'll move it over here. It, you want to really have sh uh, have some of the outline showing right here because it's definitely going to help when you're trying to mask it. So let's create another copy right here and we can just um, name this one um, at the bottom right here. Uh, it doesn't matter you know where you actually want to do it, what you actually want to be on top, but we'll just do that for right now. Put it to 90 degrees right here and we'll go ahead and just place it right here let's just say that looked pretty good at least for the tutorial right there and now we're going to go ahead and create another copy and we'll just name this one uh, we'll just name this one top right here it'll make it um a lot easier so let's go to the y-axis and then there you go that's pretty much what it looks like without any editing and as you can see um be quite frank that definitely looks um, quite horrific. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and basically just crop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just crop the top and the bottom right there. So that looks pretty good right there. Of course, you can adjust it until you really get the look that you want. But I'm just gonna keep adjusting it right here just for the sake of the video. And I think I would probably adjust it a little bit more because I don't really like how that edge looks. But you can just keep adjusting it until you get the look that you want. All I'm doing is I'm just cropping it just a little bit. Now this is definitely like a, a, a different look. You you may not like this look, but this is about the best you're going to get um, with this kind of effect right here. I definitely kind of like it. It's kind of the edges are kind of like taped on to the effect right there. And there you go. That's pretty much how, that's pretty much like the, the, the basics of the effect right here. So I'll let it render a little bit and then I'll just play it right here. As you can see right there, that's pretty much the basics um, of the effect right there. Now let's go ahead and basically just create a compound clip of all these paper effects right there, just so it'll be a lot easier. So we'll just call this paper um, overlay right here. It'll then just make it a lot easier because it's, it's a lot more annoying when you're messing with like four or six different layers. So after we have the compound clip right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, head over to the effects panel right here, and then we're gonna head over to mask right here. We're gonna take a draw mask and we're going to apply it onto the main clip right here and then all we're gonna do is we're basically just going to cut around um, the paper outline right here so we'll just go around it. and of course I would say do it pretty rough in the first the first go basically and then you can go ahead 
and to fix it and I'll show you how to fix it if you didn't know you could actually just like add individual or add more points to a mask so let's zoom to 200% and let's go around the outline okay we want to get rid of that right click on it add a point let's see if it'll there we go. So add a point right there there we go. want to fix that you then you can just go around and see if there's anything uh, I think for the most part everything looks pretty good uh, all it's all personal preference right there and then voila you have created this really cool paper overlay effect right here so let's go ahead and play it right there and there you go you have created this really really cool paper overlay effect and of course you can add this paper loop background to it so if we disable it there's no background and there we go um there actually is in the pack there's a paper loop there's a binder paper loop and then a paper rip so you can go ahead and kind of try out different backgrounds um and figure out which background you like right there but and then there you go that's pretty much it that's how you create this really cool paper rip paper overlay so it's kind of like a frame in a frame i personally like it hopefully you also like it too and this is what it looks like when you're adding a little bit more clips right here definitely think it's a pretty cool and pretty unique um idea right there remember you always want to have a draw mask on the actual clip right here and you're just basically cutting around the paper outline right there and that's how you create a, a, a really nice um edges and that's pretty much it i'll put the download link in the description below all you do is you just keep adjusting the scale and position until you get the look that you want and then you, then you basically just use a draw mask to fix any of the edges right there and that's pretty much it that's how you create this really cool paper overlay effect definitely go ahead and try it out and again like i said before download link download links in the description below it's completely free it doesn't cost you anything to create this pretty cool unique effect that's an effect that if you know how to do it'll definitely make you stand out because if you don't have these effects there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to create um this effect or if you don't know where to find the effects good luck trying to create this effect because i promise you you're not going to be able to figure it out without these effects um so yeah you'll if you know this effect you'll stand out as an editor anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 180 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace Thank you.